Hey guys, Ashen1 here and welcome to this Demon Souls video showcasing 30 tips and tricks that I have found really useful after one year of playing. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon and join and follow me on Discord and Twitch. In-depth videos will be linked in the description to support some of these tips and tricks and of course there will be spoilers. Number 1. The Royalty Class The Royalty Class is considered easy mode in the game. By choosing it and the right starting gift, you can start the game with Soul Arrow, a Silver Catalyst which raises max MP by 20%, a Silver Coronet which also raises max MP by 20%, a Providential Ring for item discovery, and a Fragrant Ring which restores MP. 2. Playing in Soul Form Ever wondered what all those bloodstains in the Nexus are? They are players killing themselves to put themselves in soul form. If you don't want to risk lowering world tendency, just play in soul form. 3. Fat Roll Ever wondered why you're rolling slow and clunky? Well, just check your equipment burden percentage here. Anything 50.0% and below will make for faster rolling. Number 4. Save Scum if you hard close the game from the PlayStation menu quick enough when you die on a boss for example, you will load up outside their fog gate. And if you have a PS Plus account with cloud saves, simply save and exit Demon Souls and then upload your save to the cloud. This acts as a more guaranteed checkpoint which you can use anytime and can also be used to dupe items. Number 5. Item Duping Want to drop items to give to your friends but keep them for yourself as well? As a blue phantom, drop the item for your friend and then save and exit out whilst in the online session. You will find the item still in your inventory and the host player will have it as well. Number 6. Amazing starting loot You've seen my vids and my streams and I am here to say that cheesing Doran in World 1-1 at the beginning of the game still works. Push this guy off a ledge and you are looking at having the following items before the first boss. Demon Brand the Ancient King's armor set, the Eternal Warrior's ring, and 27,000 souls. Number 7. Thief Ring and Kling Ring Make sure to pick these up in World 1-1 at the start. The Kling Ring gives you 75% health instead of 50% in soul form, and the Thief Ring makes sneaking around and aggroing enemies much easier. Number 8. The Lava Skip there are plenty of level skips you can do, but this one is very handy and easy early on. In World 2-1, cast the Water Veil spell on yourself and you can roll through the lava skipping half the level. Number 9. Early Health Regen There are three items you can pick up after the first boss that will restore your health whilst equipped, and their effects stack. In World 4-1, you have the Adjudicator's Shield and the Regenerator's Ring. In World 5-1, you have the Blessed Mace. All three of these will stack and restore your health whilst equipped. Number 10. Don't consume boss souls. Every boss soul has a crafting purpose. Some are used to craft weapons and some are used to buy spells. Some are even used for both. So check what each boss soul can be used for before you consume it. Number 11. Best soul farming spots. Beginner. There are three spots I like to use throughout the game. The first is from the Tower Knight Archstone. Dispatch the two blue-eyed knights, run back to the Archstone and reset. The second is Sniping the Reaper in World 4, Resetting the Archstone, Rinse and Repeat. And the third is Killing all the Flying Rays in the Storm King boss room in World 4 and Resetting with the Archstone. We'll look at more advanced options further down the list. Number 12. The Annoying Maiden in Black Ever come to the Nexus to conduct inventory management to find that you can't talk to Thomas because the Maiden in Black is standing too close to him? Well, simply roll into her to move her out of the way. Number 13. Soul Remains Break the Game You may have come across the item Soul Remains and not really thought much of them. Well, these are amazing. Throw them at or near an enemy and the enemy will start attacking thin air, leaving them open for backstabs or just running past. Number 14. Reaper Snipe Mark II If you're struggling getting past the ghosts in the first cave of World 4-2, simply snipe the Reaper who spawns them from the start. Also, don't forget to use Soul Remains for this one down here. Number 15. Hyper Mode Fancy putting the phrase Glass Cannon to the ultimate test? Well, with 30% or lower health, the Clever Rat's Ring and the Morion Blade equipped, you will give yourself a 140% attack boost. This is great for sniping. Number 16. 
Dragon God Easy Mode. So who else hates the Dragon God boss as much as me? Well, there are two ways to make this gauntlet boss a little easier. One, if you have ranged magic, you can snipe the rocks that block the path from the safety of cover. And two, if you bring a heavy shield, you can bash through the blocks in one hit. Number 17, the Red and Blue Dragons. Both the Red and Blue Dragons in World 1 can be killed. You can snipe them both from safety and even slay the Red Dragon with melee attacks from the start of the Lord's Path. Number 18, Colorless Demon Souls. Each world has a primeval demon that will spawn when the world is at pure black world tendency. Find these demons and slay them to get the Colorless Demon Souls. These are used to level up the many unique weapons in the game. Number 19, Locked Out of Leveling. Be careful when you only have one more boss to beat. When you defeat all the Archdemons in the game, you will start the process of going into New Game Plus, and the Maiden in Black can no longer be used for leveling. Number 20, Northern Regalia. You can craft the Northern Regalia in a single playthrough. Simply pick up Soulbrand and warp out of the final boss room with an Archstone Shard or the Miracle Evacuate. Now go craft it before going into New Game Plus. Number 21, Best Soul Farming, Advanced. If you have Soul Sucker, Soul Thirst, the Ring of Avarice and the Silver Bracelets, come to the Old Monk's Archstone at the end of World 3 with pure Black Will tendency. Pop Soul Thirst and Soul Suck the Black Phantom right outside the boss room for tens of thousands of souls, quickly reset the Archstone and rinse and repeat. Number 22, Cheat Death. Fancy having a safety net while running through tough areas or fighting bosses? Pick up the Miracle Second Chance. When being fatally wounded, it will ignore death and give you back 50% of your health. Number 23, Git Friends Not Good. Playing co-op and PvP with a friend has so many great benefits. At any time, you can alter world and character tendency, drop and dupe loot, and just generally enjoy everything that comes with co-op and PvP. Number 24, Shortcuts. Throughout the worlds, you will find shortcuts that make dying a lot less stressful. Find them and activate them. Number 25, Soul Sucking Max Level. Head over to my friend Liaonet's Discord speed leveling server, where you can soul suck your way to the max level of 712 in a matter of hours. Number 26, Free Yuria the Witch. Yuria is a much more hidden spell vendor than Sage Frake, and she has some of the best spells in the game. Number 27, Don't Hate Patches. Once you meet Patches, he will try to kill you, but forgive him. Once in the Nexus, he acts as a great vendor and he will continue to improve his stock after you kill certain bosses. Number 28, the Nexus Statue. The Nexus Statue has three options. It allows you to seek forgiveness, so any hostile NPCs will return to their friendly state. You can enter Fractured World Mode, which mirrors the game, and in this mode you can find the elusive ceramic coins. And finally, you can change your character creation, including gender. Number 29, Sparkly the Crow. There is a hidden vendor atop World 4-1, which will exchange items you drop for other items. Some great stuff can be obtained this way. Check out the wiki for more info. And finally, number 30, D-Patch Demon Souls. If you have the disc version PS5 and Demon Souls on disc, you can D-Patch the game to version 1.0. Doing this allows you to take advantage of some great glitches, including the gold coin glitch. Okay, so there you have my list. Please comment with tips and tricks you have, and if I get enough, I can make another video, and I'll give you all shoutouts for your input. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.